Hey guys, Ashton here from Muse Themes. Today we're going to explore our category quick view widget for Muse. This is a pretty intuitive type of gallery widget that allows you to display images in a filterable category viewer. In our demo here, if I click throughout the various categories of bikes here, we've got a really nice engaging animation as the categories resort themselves into view. It also works really well on responsive pages, so I can size my browser down to a mobile width, and the widget automatically responds by shifting into a drop-down version, where we can still achieve the same filtering effects. You can display up to 16 images in four categories into a single widget here, and it's actually very easy to set up despite its visual complexity. Now, a widget like this may or may not be for everyone. The incredible simplicity of the widget here comes at a cost of density limitations. So if you've got a large number of images or categories, it's recommended to try something maybe a little bit bigger, such as Media Pro Gallery, since that also allows for sortable categories. But this widget can have endless uses and could be ideal for product comparisons or showing off options of similar items. So let's switch over to Muse. I've removed the widget from the live demo project file here so we can set it up from scratch. So what we're going to want to do is dive into our library, snag the widget out, and we'll drop it on our page beneath our text. And I'll just adjust the positioning here so that it's centered. You'll want to place the widget box where you want your images to appear and make sure to size the width accordingly as well. You don't need to worry about the height so much right now as that's going to be configured inside the widget based on how you have your images appear inside of it, but more on that shortly. You're also welcome to make the widget full browser width, but this isn't necessary in order to achieve that responsive behavior. The widget is already designed to size down to the mobile drop-down version automatically. So let's open the settings panel. The first thing we want to do is set up our categories. And as I mentioned, we get up to four categories here and you can enable some or all of them using these checkboxes here. I'll go ahead and enable all four of them for now. And a caption on each, you'll want to basically give each category a name. So in the spirit of our bikes, we'll make this match the live demo. We've got road, mountain, touring, and electric. Great. Now let's load in our images. Now I have the same images available in my finder window that we're using in the live demo here, so I'll go ahead and load those in now. So clicking into our category one for road. Same thing here, you'll simply want to enable each image that you plan to fill. Now I've got three images for road bike, so we'll enable three of these here. And we'll click add file to add each one in. And in my finder window here, I've already got each image labeled for which category they belong to to save time. So I've got my first road bike here, and we'll get my second one, and my third. Great. For category two for our mountain bikes, we've got four of these, so let's enable all of them. And we'll just load in each image. Number one, two, three, and four. Now category three is touring, and we've got just two of these. So we'll get the first one in there. And two. And finally, category four is electric, and we've got three of these images. So let's get that one in here. Number two. And finally, three. Wonderful. Now before we do anything else, let's give this a browser preview so we can already see everything functioning. Great, images are loaded in nicely, everything is sortable, and our transitions are working seamlessly. So let's head back and go over some of these styling options inside the styling drop down here, starting with image height. Now this option sets the height for the images seen in each category. And the shape of the images is determined by this setting in combination with the width of the widget container. So you may want to experiment with different combinations of image height settings along with widget container width. And as we go down here, I'm going to tweak some of these settings to make the changes a little bit closer to the live demo so you can see the versatility available here. So for right now, I'm going to bump up the height to 320. Next up is columns. So the widget as a whole is designed to display images in columns. If the number of images used in any category exceeds the number of columns chosen, additional rows will be added below the first row. So for example, let's lower the column countdown to two. And then we'll preview this page once again. Now 
there we go. So we can see on the categories where there are more images than columns, we get additional rows shown beneath. And also, since there are less images displayed on the horizontal now, it allows for our increased height to take effect as well. So like I said, just experiment with your preview function until you get the exact look that you're going for. Back in the panel, I'm going to put the columns back to four for now. And next we have category link alignment. Now this aligns the category buttons above the images, either left, center, or right. So let's switch this over to left. Next three options here are spacing settings for all of the elements. So we have space between categories, below categories, and between images. So I'm going to space everything out just a little bit and set these to 10, 20, and 10. Next up is category link font family. So let's again align it with the live demo and we'll go Brandon Grotesque. And let's go ahead and bump up the font size a little bit to 16. Then we've got some color settings for the category links, both in normal state and hover. So let's go black for normal state and a nice orange for hover. We'll go FA6900. Cool. Then we've got a border radius option here that you can change or simply set it to zero if you want solid corners, so we'll go ahead and do that. Next up is a color for the selected category background color, so let's switch this to white. And we'll make the selected text our same orange, FA6900. And finally, selected category background hover color. We'll make this white as well. And finally, at the end here, we've got image rotation speed. This sets the time that it takes to complete the animation seen when a new category is chosen, and it's set in seconds. So let's slow down the speed a bit and bump this up to one full second. And finally, border radius of the image. We'll go zero on this for clean corners here as well. So lots of options to play around with here, but for now, let's go ahead and give this a final browser preview. Beautiful. And in very little time, we've got a fully functional set of image categories set up here in Muse with tons of freedom at our fingertips and no headache whatsoever. So thanks again for watching, guys, and as always, hit us up in support if you have any questions or concerns, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.